Hi, it's Gretchen, it's Tuesday, and you're in my closet. Yes. Okay, so this week I wanted to talk about fashion for a few reasons. If you don't know who Gabby Fresh is, I'm going to put a link down in my underpants. Why are we calling it underpants? She has a site called Young, Fat, and Fabulous, and she is fantabuloso, to say the least. One thing that has really impressed me about her and that has kind of made a difference in my way of thinking is that, you know, she's plus size, and she talks a lot about plus size issues, and she works for Italian Vogue. Hello. She just had something published about her and some other um, plus size fashion bloggers in uh, L, French L. I'm standing in the grocery store line, and I see um, an issue of Vogue. It's got Sarah Jessica Parker on the cover. It's fantastic looking, and I'm like, oh, look, I should buy Vogue. And my immediate thought was, God, you know, these people are going to think, what is this girl doing buying Vogue? And then I had a couple of realizations. A, I used to be. I used to be really into um, finding really cool plus size stuff. And then and I used to be really into making all these great outfits, and I used to shop at Lane Bryan, and I would do all the clearance sales, and just really kind of find my way to look the best I could possibly be, no matter what size I was. And, you know, you get married, and you gain some weight after the marriage, and all that stuff, and I just kind of gave up fashion-wise, and just got what fit me. I picked up that, that, that uh, issue of Vogue, and I bought it, and I read it. Actually, if you look at it, it's all dog-eared because I read it in the bathtub. <laughs> what I noticed is the artistic nature of it. The photos are fantastic. Um, even the ads are really cool to look at. And if you have any kind of artsy background, there's some great inspiration in here. The models aren't all stick thin. They have curves. And the models aren't all wearing, you know, $3,000 dresses. Don't get me wrong, a lot of them are, but... I started to realize that, you know, this doesn't have to be a world that I can't be included in just because of the size that's on my pants. I can read this and get inspired by it, and I may not be able to go buy that $3,000 dress that only goes up to size 6, but I can find something maybe similar that matches my style and my body type that makes me look and feel good and inspires me and makes me want to, um... You know, explore options and colors and cuts and belts. Belts! Who knew belts? And who's to say if more people of size read these magazines and commented and said, oh, I really love it when you do articles about X, and I really love it when you show a model with some curves, and I really love it when you feature clothes from stores like Torrid or um, Lane Bryan or, you know, whatever plus-size store that you like to shop at. Um, people will listen. Why couldn't we be part of this world? And if anything I've learned from Gabby, it's that we are. It, it, we really are. And that there are voices out there that are being heard. And it's really exciting. You know, it's kind of the week after I, all this revelation about Vogue came about, um, I went to Lane Bryant to get some clothes. And I was kind of inspired by Crystal. Hi, Crystal. I was kind of inspired by Crystal. She's like, go, there's great stuff. It's on sale. Gabby also said, you know, having this great sale at Lane Bryant. And I got a lot of clothes. And what was great about that it was I didn't really care about the size. I wanted to make sure it fit. And I'm like, it's not about the number. It's about how it looks and how it feels. And I got some fun stuff. to feel like myself and to spend money on myself to wear clothes that fit good and felt good and were new and um, were me and I think before like I said I was just trying to get what fit instead of getting what fit me and it was just a really exciting revelation for me. Yesterday I went through my entire closet and got rid of three bags, three huge lawn bags full of clothes. Stuff that I can't 
wear anymore or I don't want to wear anymore and I got rid of it and I donated it to Goodwill and then I put 15 pairs of pants and jeans and things on eBay and I found that I had pants that were from a size 16 to a size 24 and everything in between and I'm like why am I holding on to these clothes that don't fit me right and so now they're on eBay I'm very excited about that in fact I may link my pants in my underpants go forth look great feel great and know that you deserve to look and feel great and you deserve to be part of a culture that appreciates a woman that looks great no matter what size she is. You explore and find the best stuff for the best you that you can be. Okay. I love you. Have a great week. I love you all. Love you girls and we'll see you next week.